Begin with breaking news. A French court has handed down a guilty verdict against the only survivor, the only surviving suspect of the 2015 Paris terror attacks. 18 other men were also found guilty of planning and aiding the assaults that killed 130 people in the French capital seven years ago. Militants, you may remember, burst into the Bataclan concert hall, killing fans and staff alike, while further attackers targeted other locations at the same time across Paris. Now, the verdict comes after a nine-month trial, the largest in modern French history. The reading is still underway. We want to go now to Lisa Louis. She is at this palace. She's at this palace that was built, actually, for this trial. Lisa, let's start with what we know so far. The main suspect, Salah Abdeslam. He has been found guilty on terrorism and murder charges. What did we learn about the man and his motives during this trial? Well, exactly. He has been found of terror-related charges and the judge has decided to condemn him to life in prison and that life in prison time cannot be reduced. That is really an extraordinary verdict here tonight in Paris in this mammoth, after this mammoth trial on uh, the most atrocious terror attacks on French soil after the World War II here in France. And and also the, uh, the, the head of the tribunal tonight, he has found that all the 20 accused, six of them in absentia, they all have been found guilty of having helped with these terror attacks on French soil. soil and only one was found not to be guilty of terror-related mm. charges. So it looks like it really has been, will be a very, very tough verdict on all the accused here in this trial. And, and we know, Lisa, that this terror attack it continues to influence French politics today, particularly domestic politics. Um, but what about the, the victims of this terror attack? What, what does this trial, what does this verdict mean for them? This, these 10 months have been really important for the plaintiffs here in, in this uh, terror trial. I've been talk, talking to several of them and they really found each other during these 10 months at court. Very intense hearings. Uh, lots of them, about 400 of them, actually testified in front of the court and told everybody about their pain, about their loved ones that they lost, about what a uh, horrible night they had to go through on the 13th of November 2015 and this whole you know this whole trial the different stages of the, tr the trial have been really important for them and for their healing process and some of them also told me that they were terrorized uh, thinking of today's verdict because during these 10 months they have listened to some of the accused and the accused have told their stories and they you know the, the people I've talked to some of the civil plaintiffs they told me these people also are actually human beings and some of them might have been caught up in this and it will be very tough on them obviously also if they are being handed down very tough verdicts okay dw's lisa louis with the latest from this trial the verdict just coming down for these convicted terrorists thank you lisa